Okay, so this is just a junk piece because it had a big thingamajig in it. Okay, don't look at this. But if you're in the Surprise Vinyl Club, you would have received your iridescent leopard vinyl by now. It is opaque. It has a soft backing. So you can make bags with this without uh, any worry at all. I made a couple of different projects. This here is a case that I made for my iPad and a spiral notebook. A lot of times when I'm working on the run, so to speak, I like to have my iPad and a pen with a spiral notebook. And so all of that fits in here. And this is lined. I put soft purple vinyl on the inside and I used leopard vinyl on the outside. No interfacing whatsoever on either piece. And I used our leopard print zippers for the zipper. This has a free template or pattern download PDF. If you're on my email list, it'll be on the free pattern folder. Otherwise, in the description box for this video. Next is this little quickie uh, case where you don't have to turn it. So on this case, I did it traditionally and then turned it, I sewed it right sides together and then turned it right sides out at the end. And that does create a little bit of creasing or texture, which I think is cool. I kind of like it. Okay. I could come in here with my iron. And so I'm just going to go overhead real quick and show you when you do that, there there it does end up uh, some creasing in the vinyl. So just take your Teflon sheet and you can give it a quick press and a lot of that will press right out. Now I'm not saying all of it will press out, but I do tend to think that a little of that texture is kind of cool. It doesn't damage the vinyl. It still looks really cool. I love it. So here's a top view of this case with the soft purple vinyl inside. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now on this other version here, I'm going to show you how to sew a pouch where you don't have to turn the vinyl at all. Now this one I did not line, and you can totally do it this way if you need something done in five minutes. But on this demonstration, I will line the case with soft vinyl again. Now you don't need to interface these, okay? You, you just use your vinyl for the exterior, the soft vinyl for the interior, and away we go. And I'm going to show you how to make it work. All right, so we're just going to take an overhead view and look at our supplies. So you will need your vinyl and cut out your pattern pieces from the PDF that I included. You will need your lining. I'm going to use soft vinyl in purple. I'm not going to interface it. You can use quilting cotton or waterproof canvas or canvas, whatever you like if you want. Steam a seam light. This will help us adhere the lining to the exterior without having to turn it right sides out again. We're just going to use this. It's a little trick. You'll need a scrap piece of quilting cotton or vinyl for the zipper tabs. You'll want to use a zipper. I'm using a number five leopard, which we have in the shop at SoHungryHippie.com. I'm going to use a little glue stick to help me with the zipper portion. And then if you're not using a Teflon foot, grab a piece of tissue paper. That's what I'm going to do for my machine as we sew on top of the exterior vinyl, which is this. It's not sticky, but sometimes if you're just using a regular foot, you can sense that the feed dogs don't want to pull this back as you're sewing. So if that's a problem, just get yourself a piece of tissue paper. Okay. Oh, and a pressing cloth. I use a Teflon baking sheet. It, it's great, okay? I also like to use my little mini iron. Okay. So because this one, we are not going to turn the bag right side out, we're first going to adhere the lining to these panels. 
So what I'm going to do is take a piece of steam -a seam This is tacky on both sides, but when you pull it out of the package, it's not. You have to peel a piece away. So I'm going to move to the overhead camera and show you how I cut this out. So I just lay it on here, and then I get my straight edge along that straight edge, and then using my rotary, I cut it out. A smaller rotary cutter would be great, <laughs> but this is what I have in the moment. So here I am. And then what you'll do, bring over your ironing mat, you'll peel one side away, all right, this is tacky, we're going to lay it down on the wrong side of the vinyl, this is the piece I'm working with. Iron it down. Sometimes this is fast and sometimes this is slow. It just depends on the material. You want to let it cool down for a, a sec. And then you can come in here and see if it's ready to pull away. Now, I didn't iron mine quite long enough. I can see that, so I have to come back in. When it's ready, when it's really adhered, it will just pull away very easily. I never stay in one place too long when I'm working with vinyl. My iron is on high heat, but I'm sure to be moving all around. I'm going to let that sit for a second. I'm going to cut out my lining. There's one. I like to use a straight edge. Mine is non directional, this vinyl. There's no stripes. There's nothing to differentiate it that I'm cutting it crossways here. Okay, so I've got both lining pieces now. Now I'm going to check to see if this is ready. Yes, it is. The paper just pulls right off. See that? Now I'm going to take my lining and place it on there. Bring the Teflon sheet over. Give it a press. And there we are. And we're just going to repeat that for the other side. Now, if your lining is peeking out because you didn't cut it perfectly, like me, give it a trim up right now so that your pieces are exactly the same size. There we go. Now, I ran out of steam -a seam so guess what I'm going to do? And you can do this if you're in a pinch. I'm going to wing it. I'm going to baste these pieces together very quickly. Baste means turn it to a really big stitch. I can tell this is not liking this here. Flip it over. Nope. I'm going to have to use tissue or my Teflon foot. Now if you're confident that you can just hold these pieces together and not baste them as we put the pouch together, 
you can totally do that too. Again, I'm just going to trim this down so it's exactly the same size. Okay, now we have two finished pieces with lining, okay? So let's take our zipper. And you want the zipper the same size as the pouch on this one. I know that's different than what I usually teach, but we're doing this, remember, a different way. So first I'm going to put on my zipper pull. This is a number five zipper. Now it always goes on a little crooked. That's just how zipper teeth are, so you're going to trim off that edge that's a little lopsided. Now this is 11 inches wide and I want my zipper the same. So I'm going to trim that off, okay? Now take your scrap piece of vinyl and cut a one inch wide piece for both ends of the zipper. This is one inch wide. It just has to be as tall as the zipper or taller than the zipper than this because we'll trim that away after we sew this on. So take your zipper, insert, fold over, use the clip if you need one, and stitch down. So I just trimmed that. These are sewn on and you're just going to trim it to the width of your zipper tape. All right, so that's ready to go. So now we'll take one of our pieces, and this is where it's counterintuitive to how I usually do a zipper pouch, but remember, we're doing it this way so we don't have to turn it right sides out later, okay? So we're gonna attach it just like this. And the beauty of this is this edge, the, these vinyl edges, they don't fray. So you're not going to have to worry about that. So I'm going to take my glue stick. This is just school glue. And no, it doesn't gum up my needle. I do this all the time. Sometimes I use the double-sided sticky tape as well. But honestly, I couldn't find it. So here I am. I'm going to press it on there. You can opt to put a clip on the end if that makes you feel better. But this is this is pretty sticky. I might have to hold this end here at the, at the start, but that's okay. I'm going to pull my zipper pull out of the way and start. Here we go. We're back to a three millimeter stitch length. You can put on your zipper foot if you prefer, or move your needle position. Now, let's say you're having some trouble and it doesn't want to scoot forward on you. I feel a little resistance myself. I don't have my Teflon foot here, so I'm going to stick a piece of tissue paper, and that eliminates all friction, all problems. And don't worry, it's very easy to come out. We're going to switch to the overhead. So here it is. You might be worried that you'll have to come in and pick all those out. Nope, look, super clean. Exactly what we want. So now we will attach the other side. You don't need gobs of glue. Just doing a quick little swipe. Make sure that sticks there. I'll add a clip just for, just cause. 
I'm going to take this to the machine and I'm just going to go ahead and start with my tissue because I'm, I'm not working with my Teflon foot today. Again, you may want to move your zipper pull. My, my sewing foot is skinny enough that it doesn't knock into my head of the zipper, the pull or the head. I can see through the tissue so that I know that I'm making contact with the vinyls and the zipper tape. What's cool about this zipper tape is that because it's leopard, it just blends in with the leopard. All right. I wasn't looking when I did that, that one, but it's still easy. Ooh, look at that. You don't have to worry. Did you see I just almost did this just out of habit? You don't have to do that. We are folding. Look how cute that's going to look. O-M-G. <laughs> Line up the sides and the curves and all of this and put clips in. Use clips. If you use pins on vinyl, it's a forever hole. This is like my favorite pottery bowl, and it was made by a high schooler in our town. They have this yearly um, benefit to raise money for charity, and the art students in art class, they make these bowls, and then they glaze them and fire them. And this is my absolute favorite. I just love it. Isn't it pretty? I just love it. It's one of a kind. Okay, so guess what? This is our last step. We are going to sew all the way around, and I am going to use tissue paper because I know mine will be a stinker without my Teflon foot. Remember to lock stitch at the start and the stop. This will be a bit of a hump here, so if you need to use a hump jump, which is that thing that slides in to keep your foot level, go ahead and do it. I don't need it on this machine. It won't break a needle. I'm down to three millimeter stitch length again, just, just saying. All purpose thread, I can see through. Yes, I'm sewing four layers, but there's no interfacing. So it really doesn't have a problem. I am using a Chrome Universal Needle 80, and I'm not pushing or pulling. I'm just letting the feed dogs do the work. Here we come up to the end. Don't sew too many times back and forth because if you mow over the same, go to the front. If you mow back and forth a whole bunch of times on vinyl, you can risk perforating it. So just a little lock stitch is all you need. Hear the motorcycle? <laughs> I'm going to get these tissues out. Remember, if you have a Teflon foot, you won't have any of that to pull out at the end. Okay, I'm going to trim up. I'm going to trim all my threads. If you want to trim down your seam allowance a little bit, go ahead. It's really personal preference. I'm just making sure that all sides are equal. So what I mean is so neither side is poking out a bunch. Now I always look at both sides. I love it. I absolutely love it. You see this in Target and they would be asking $14.99 at a minimum. And you've got a lining, you've got a leopard zipper, you've got iridescent leopard vinyl. I mean, imagine you could make 20 of these and sell them at a gift show. 
for instance, or a craft fair. You could make these as stocking stuffers. You see how quick that was? Imagine if you production this, okay? And you're welcome to. If you tag me, I do share people's work in my Instagram stories and on Facebook stories. I love seeing what you guys do. So here's your choice. You can make either one. I'd love to see what you do. If you make something else or a different bag, please tag me and tag the designer of whatever bag you make too. We love seeing your work. All of us do. <laughs> okay, I will see you soon.